The Euro Student 8 report is now available on the HEA website. This video explainer will take you through the report focusing on the first three chapters contained within Euro Student 8. The Euro Student Survey focuses on the social dimension of higher education and the data collected is comparable across Europe. Students were surveyed across Irish higher education institutions in 2022, with approximately 21,000 students responding to the survey. The chapter headings are listed here and in this video we will focus on the first three chapters, covering the demographic profile of students, student satisfaction and sense of belonging. Students were asked about their demographic profile, whether they have a disability or health condition and how they rate the supports they receive. Females outnumber males within the full-time undergraduate, full-time postgraduate and part-time postgraduate populations. Only for part-time undergraduates do males outnumber females. Students also supplied their age as part of the survey. For full-time undergraduates, 71% were under 21 and 5% were over 30. For part-time undergraduates, 5% were under 21 and 68% were over 30. For full-time postgraduates, 76% were under 30 and 24% were over 30. And for part-time postgraduates, 26% were under 30 and 74% were over 30. Students were asked if they had children and overall 11% of the total student population have children. Full-time undergraduates, the figure is 4%. For part-time undergraduates, that figure is 46%. For full-time postgraduates, the figure is 12%. And for part-time postgraduates, the figure is 43%. Students were asked if they had a disability, impairment, long-standing health problem, functional limitation, or learning disability. And overall, 32% of students indicated that they did. The largest group was those with mental health conditions, where overall 17% of students indicated that they had a mental health condition. Mental health conditions are highest amongst full-time undergraduates at 19%. Students were asked to rate the supports they received to overcome the limitations caused by their disability or health problem, and the results are given in the chart. Overall, those with mental health conditions were least likely to say that supports were entirely sufficient, and along with those with physical disabilities, most likely to say that supports were not sufficient at all. Students were also asked about their sense of belonging and satisfaction with the teaching they receive. They were asked the extent to which they agree or disagree with the following statements. It was always clear I would study in higher education one day. 75% strongly agree or agree and 13% strongly disagree or disagree. I know a lot of fellow students with whom I can discuss subject related questions. 58% strongly agree or agree and 24% strongly disagree or disagree. I often have the feeling that I don't really belong in higher education. 22% strongly agree or agree and 61% strongly disagree or disagree. I would recommend my current study program. 68% strongly agree or agree and 13% strongly disagree or disagree. I am seriously thinking of completely abandoning my higher education studies. 6% strongly agree or agree and 87% strongly disagree or disagree. Students were asked to evaluate the teaching they receive and the extent to which they agree or disagree with the following statements. The teaching staff motivate me to do my best work. 42% strongly agree or agree and 28% strongly disagree or disagree. The teaching staff are extremely good at explaining things. 47% strongly agree or agree and 20% strongly disagree or disagree. The teaching staff normally give me helpful feedback on how I am going. 45% strongly agree or agree. 30 percent strongly disagree or disagree. Finally, students were asked how they felt about their job prospects post-graduation and 67% considered that they have a good or very good chance of obtaining an adequate job on the labour market nationally, with 12% rating their chances as poor or very poor. The Euro Student 8 report is available on the HEA website, hea.ie.